Hello everyone and welcome back to Slime Rancher. My name is Chris Kenner. I've got Karma here with me. Yeah. <laughs> Karma's quite tired. I think we're, we're both worn out. We've been sick for a while. Um, but you may notice, if you're very eagle-eyed, that we've got some new toys about the ranch. Because today we're going to be looking at some of the gadgets in the game. I've, I've positioned all of our uh, sort of charms here to be able to work out some music. I also arranged these ones in like a line. So these ones should play a song if I run along this line. I can't hear any of this by the way, so I have no idea what that <laughs> sounded like. Well, hopefully if I've gotten it right, that should have sounded like Raining Blood by Slayer. But we'll see. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I did a great job. So, first thing I want to show off is the bounce pad. This is exactly what it sounds like. Let's give it a go. Boink. Well, that was cool, I guess. Yeah, it's quite brief, but it does give you quite a, a boost. I want to put a slime on it. Huh. I haven't honestly thought of that. Because I want to see one bounce. Let's go kidnap a slime from the wild and drop it on there. That's basically the plan. Oh, experiment slime number one. I'm hoping this works actually because it might be that it you doesn't work. You might have work. to fire it from a distance maybe. Oh, oh my it god, does. it works! Oh my god, that's so cute! Oh look at it spin around! Oh, uh, no, come, come back. That's come adorable! Back. I, I am so glad that you suggested that. <laughs> I had I'd never even occurred to me that it might work. Off with you. Be free! Okay, the next thing God, I want to show you... you... Sorry, I've got to say. Hmm? Can you imagine it going back to its friends and being like, I was just abducted and thrown on a trampoline. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I can. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show was the healing station. So I've just gone and taken some damage very on purpose. And the healing station is going to use some of my energy to heal me very quickly. Like, so... Like, you ever need that, though? I, I know, it's a bit overkill, but... Yeah, like, I actually would rather have something that takes my health and gives me energy, because energy's the one thing I run out of all the time. Yeah. Um, the next thing, I actually am going to need one of you guys. Because the next thing is this number one slime stage. Which is a, another Aww. sort of gizmo that you can craft. I've, I've never actually seen this in action. I didn't know that they rotated. Does he does he explode when he's on there? I don't know. Well, let's let's put him back. But that that's a thing that we will use in a future episode. This little little gizmo right here. Oh, it's so cute though. It is really cute. Now, you may have noticed this guy. Um. I may have snared a gold Gordo. There is a thing called a Gordo snare, which he should be sat on top of. And you, it, it comes in various varieties, and I did a specific one that gets this guy. So if I feed him fit to bursting, he should spit out a bunch of gold slimes that I can then shoot with vegetables. I'm, I'm not going to do it now, because I want to save that for a different episode as well. But... It's so cute. Big fat gold guy. And the last thing, I am actually going to go grab another pink slime. I can, I can just hear like the notes going off every time <laughs> I step over them. Yay. You. Like, oh no, I'm going to be a puppy too. Grab a few. Yeah, I've got six slimes, that should be fine. Because there is another gadget that's on the ranch that I wanted to show off. I should have really kept these from earlier. But in order to demonstrate it properly, because my aim is terrible, don't hate me, um, <laughs> I need to be stood on top of here because there's basically a basketball hoop that's got a little mini game with it. And there's, there's an achievement um, for scoring 50 in the time limit. So if I send a slime through, you can see it sort of, it starts to spin. But uh, the, the reason I've got up on top of my house is because I have no idea how I'm supposed to be able to get slimes in like this. It's because you suck at basketball. I do suck at basketball. But there's, there's like some really dramatic music playing. I, like, I, I suppose I could like jump up like this. Yeah, slam dunk it. That's, that sort of works. It's like, I really wish that um, you could do this game multiplayer. 
Yeah, this would that'd be a perfect multiplayer game to be able to track sort of different people getting different scores. Yeah, you actually have a bit of a slime basketball game. Yeah. But you can see the little sort of timer just above where it says score. So it goes four, three, two, one, and then that's the end of the game. So I scored eight. But uh, because you cheated. I, yeah, I did cheat because I, I, I can't. I can't. It's so hard. Jesus. Um, what was the next gizmo that I wanted to demonstrate? I think. I think it's in the moss blanket. So if I step through my teleporter here, I've spent ages getting these gadgets together. They take quite a lot of resources, and I regret not having spent more time on the sort of the mining drill, and the pumps, and the apiaries uh, before I got to this point. But if we get to this section, uh, I've come here because if I climb up here, there should be like a kitty slime or something. Yes, here it is. So, let's feed the kitty slime. Or, you know, just completely miss. You. There we go. So I need, I need your... Oh! That's actually what I wanted. Hey, Tar. Come here. Because what I want to show you is this thing. This is a hydro turret. This is basically automated point defense. Look at that. It just... Took them out as soon as they got in range, and they're gone. Okay. So you can put these down in areas, and they will actually deal with um, tars showing up. So you can put, I've put another one of these down on the dry reef, on another section where there's tars quite often. Why did you need the tabby plant? Um, because I was going to do this. Oh, you were going to make a tar. Okay. Yeah. And you then... cruel, cruel bastard. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm only a little bit sorry there. No, you're not. You're not sorry at all. You're I'm smiling a, a lot. Well, this is a fun game. It's adorable. <laughs> well, I, haven't pl I haven't played this game very much in recent weeks. And getting back into it felt really good. And I've, I've really thoroughly enjoyed it. Right, we've got one more gizmo to show off. Um, there's something called a taming bell. So if I go across here, there's a section over here that has some feral slimes that are quite consistently a problem. And the taming bell should basically nullify them, for a better word. It makes them tame. So they won't be aggressively attacking me. So if I hop across here to where I've put it, there, there they, there's the hostile slimes. So if I get them to come over oh, here... That's kind of adorable. It's a cute little thing. And just like that... Well, they commit suicide. Well, that's not really what I wanted, but you, you should have hopefully <laughs> been able to see. Go, go back and rewind the video, and you will see that they weren't hostile And anymore. then they immediately throw themselves into the water. Yeah, that was a that was a thing that happened. <laughs> that, I shouldn't laugh. That was terrible. That was really sad. <laughs> Why are the slimes in this so rubbish? Look, it's not the first time that's happened to me. I don't know. Can I get them to do it again? You, you follow me. I think they're too busy. Whatever, doing whatever that is. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm just gonna like pick him up and carry him. No. I've got enough health, but it's not really a problem. Yeah, you, it's really hard to actually, uh... It's really hard to actually lose health. It's not working! See? Immediately got better and jumped into the water. I don't understand it. It worked! You saw that it worked. Yeah, you see that it works and immediately die. They just decide to throw themselves into the water. For goodness sake. It's like you're brainwashing them and it's making them really sad. I don't know. I'm going to stop because that's really depressing. Yeah, what the... Look, there you go. I don't know. I don't understand it. Like, it worked the first time. And I actually... Like, I tested this before we did this video. And now that I actually come to do it... They're just like, nah, I'm going to leap off into oblivion. Stupid, aggressive slimes. They're clearly not that much of a threat. They're more of a threat to themselves than they are to me. <laughs> yeah, that's so why I don't... I just ignore them. Yeah. They're, they're so stupid. Right, let's, let's head back home then. Cause I think... I think that that is all of the gadgets. Because we've already seen things like the... Uh, the drones... 
uh, the, the warp teleporters and all sorts of things like that. I've got I've got lots of decorations up. Oh, no, no, I very nearly forgot. There is one last gizmo that I forgot about. Oh. No, you'll you'll like you will like this one. Will I? Yes. If I go here, do you remember? when we were doing the treasure pod hunt here and there was that one treasure pod that was hidden behind like a wall of vines like it was ridiculously well hidden um and we got the echo lure net oh this thing so y you can place these things down in these ancient ruins and they will literally just attract echoes and you can just suck them all up so there we are. i've just got like just a ton of them that's just from one imagine if i had loads of them dotted around the place i could really farm these echoes very quickly you can make your entire base just really shiny. That's basically my plan. I'm kicking myself for not getting more of the chimes when I had the chance. I sort of, I, I left it a bit too long. I feel a bit foolish now, really. I have to wait for next Christmas. Yeah. Let's do a little pattern above the windows. I think the blue ones are my favorites. Yeah, I'd agree with you on that. They, they are the closest to purple. Yeah. I really would like to see some more colours of these. Yeah. And I'd like to see some white ones. So they look a bit more like stars. That'd be awesome. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's cool. Put that up there. I'm just putting little glowy blobs all over the place. Oh, is that guy running out of water? I got him, bro. Aww. He's very cute. Okay. But, I, I demand that they make plushies of everything in this game. Yeah, plushies would be really, really good. I would buy them all. Yeah. Especially a honey kitty plushie, just saying. Yeah, it would be really cute. But I think that's enough for today's video. We have got more planned because I have managed to get all of the decorations in the game so I can show off those. Okay. But until next time, thank you guys very much for watching and we will see you in the next episode. Bye.